Hello again, Infinity Dave here, and I'm just doing a quick look at the HP Reverb. Uh, you might have seen my review before on it, and the kind of through the lens video, which I will leave a description below for both of them. But I wanted to go in for this, and I'm not going to kind of mess around and talk too much about it, but there has been issues with uh, the connection on the back, which, if any of you know, I had a kind of problem with this cable anyway. I found it quite heavy. So this is one solved that issue of it being too heavy, but also it stopped any kind of connection issues I'm having. And it is quite a broad thing because I've looked on kind of sim racing forums and also I kind of like Reddit. There's a lot of people kind of having connection issues. So I do think this is a, you know, a defect in kind of how HP have designed this. Now I know thanks to someone you know leaving a comment why they've kind of done that cable there like that is because it can go onto a kind of laptop on your back so you just have that short cable but it surely is a, a silly design but let's get straight to the the kind of fix that i've i've done and now this is a kind of do-it-yourself fix uh there is 3d printed um someone's designed a 3d printed uh, bracket that can go on this and kind of hold it but not everyone has access to a 3d printer or you know if you if you can't get hold of someone who can make it for you then i think this is a, a good solution that you can have so what i've done here is typically this joiner here would just wiggle just just that little bit and then it could cause disconnect so it was an issue and i did think you know sending it back uh, to HP because obviously I don't want having that you know going around I was in iRacing and it would just kind of go and then you'd completely be out of the race so that you no one wants that you know so what I've done is I've got some electrical tape and firstly wrapped it around the joiner and then I've got some I've got a cable tie and cable tied it from one end to the other which has kind of held that in place that way so it can't it can't move then I've put some more electrical tape around it, so it's just stopped that cable tie from moving. Even though I don't think it would, it's kind of stopped it completely. Um, now, I've not had a single issue since this, and I've been running it for many hours, probably about 20 hours now, and not once has it disconnected, so I'm really happy with that. I have then, and this is where I think it's helped a lot with the comfort, I mean a lot. Um, I've zippy tied this here and here, so and the cable then is run right down the middle so it takes the weight completely off although the weight is there but what what i mean is it you just don't feel it because it's on the back of your head it's not dangling so yes it's fixed the disconnects for me i can't say for sure it would help everybody but it certainly has for me and the comfort now and this headset and everything and i still love it you know apart from that that one issue and I, you know, and it's not ideal, but it's fixed it and it's fine. So I just thought I would share a video and kind of what I've done. And if anyone else has any kind of issues or, you know, that's definitely something that I would personally do because it's I, it's not going to kind of stop any warranty. You can cut the cable ties off. You can take the tape off. So I don't feel it's going to affect your warranty in any way. But you know, everyone free to do what you know what they like, of course. But um, for me. This is a good thing. And I just want to say thank you for watching. And again, if you liked it, like it. If you didn't, don't like it, you know, and please sub. Take care.